Throughout the years, City have had a habit of leaving things to the final day, whether it's a relegation battle, promotion nail-biter or title decider. So let's run through 10 of the most memorable last days. Despite a late scare, a winning goal from Franny Lee handed City the Division 1 title away at Newcastle, a feat that wouldn't be repeated for another 44 years. More than 47,000 Blues watched City put five past Charlton as they pipped Portsmouth to promotion back to Division 1 with a Dave Phillips pile driver at the pick of the goals. City are back in the first division. Cooper pops it out of the air. City needed a point to clinch promotion back to Division 1 and a late Trevor Morley goal was enough in a nervy one-all draw. Two nil down and with 90 minutes played, Kevin Horlock pulled one back and Paul Dickov scored a last gasp equaliser before Nicky Weaver became the shootout hero at Wembley as City won the Division 2 playoff final. Gillingham have to score this. Guy Butters with the responsibility. Definitely sound. Guy Butters must score. He doesn't. He's missed. It's saved by Nicky Weaver. City are back in the first division. That is quite an astonishing game. Look at Nicky Weaver. He's the hero. And here's Dickel. City only needed a point to return to the promised land and rode their luck with an all but convincing 4-1 away win at Blackburn. Dickov rounding off a memorable last day. City ended a pretty poor 2003-2004 season on a high with a thumping 5-1 win at home to Everton. Sean Wright Phillips completed the route with a great solo effort. Sean Wright Phillips makes it number five. City knew a win over Borough would send them into Europe, but a missed Fowler penalty and even David James going up front wasn't enough, and a one-all draw meant last day heartbreak for the Blues. A convincing 2-0 away at Bolton with a Jekko goal sealing things was enough to see City finish in the top three for the first time in Premier League history and meant guaranteed Champions League football. And what an impact off the bench. Cut open Carlos Tevez with the ball in behind, laid across the penalty area and Jekko at the second attempt. Arguably the most dramatic final day in Premier League history saw Sergio Aguero score with the last kick of the game to complete the impossible late turnaround which gave City their first Premier League trophy in 44 years.
Unlike that QPR game two years earlier, City coasted to a 2-0 win against West Ham to lift the Premier League trophy once more. Captain Vincent Company capping off a champion's performance for City. Swung over. Company scores 2-0. Vincent Company with a captain's goal. And Manchester City have done it. Premier League champions for 2013-2014. Manchester City. No need for the late heroics this time around. The Blues do the business with a 2-0 win over West Ham. Fans flood onto the pitch. The celebration starts, it's party time at the Etihad.